Now I'm to wish you let me know if anyone is involved outside of Bangladesh. Ma'am, I think you should use microphone because your voice is low. My voice is low, but why? Yes, ma'am. Now it's clear? Yes, now ma'am, it's clear. Shall I start? Hi, you can start. No problem. Let us talk. But uh, I think uh, the participant, if they can request the children or the student, uh, they might join with you. If is there any scope? Thank you, sir. Congratulations to everyone for joining the program. Many congratulations and best wishes, especially for our students. My voice is clear? Yes, yes. ma'am, your voice is clear. Okay. After a while, we will know the detail of who joined from where. We Bangladesh chapter is a close bond between world teachers, students, educators, and parents. It is the responsibility of you and me to make this bond of success anyway. Today, we have all joined this program. Best wishes and congratulations to all those who have joined today's program from different parts of the world. Today's we Bangladesh chapter is about culture, the strong and activity from different parts of the world. The most important people in today's program are our future generation. I have invited our students along with parents and teachers. Today we will surely hear from our students along with parents, our students about the culture, custom equity of their respective countries. Uh, today's program, our chief guest is the prominent educationist and lecturer Kumila Teachers Training College, Bangladesh, Professor Shamsuddin Talukdar sir. They are more connected with us from our country and different parts of the world. Greetings to all and assalamu alaikum. I am Mamtaz Luxan Akhtar as the moderator of the whole program. I am also secondary school teacher, Madam Minihar Shahjam High School, Shitabundo, Chot Program, Bangladesh. Our little gem, our little um, talent, Baby Polen, will cooperate with me here for some time. Polena, are you agree? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We will know identity of our student at first. As soon as I announce the name, everyone will give their own country and identity. Okay, dear learner. Now, we will know the identity of our country and identity. We will know the identity of our teachers and parents. The whole program we all want to manage in a discipline. And maybe we will continue 30 or uh, 30 or 30 minutes. Uh, maybe 30 half minutes. Uh, after 30 half minutes, we will rejoin in Zoom meeting. Okay. Now to our introducing episode. Uh, first of all, I request my invited learners 
introduce, introducing introduce themselves. Please start you uh, at first. First of all, Pulen. Just introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. Take by salam. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muxida Tahi Pollen. Um, uh, you can call me Pollen. I'm 10 years old. I live in my Chinga Gumbergaon. Um, uh, the name of my school is Uttar German Sunda Government Primary School. My hobbies are playing cricket and reading the Holy Quran. And um, that was my introduction. Thank you. Thank you, Pollen. Uh, and next, another student. My name is Aditi Roy Puja. Uh, my country name is Bangladesh. My school name is Shere Bangla Girls High School. Uh, my hobby is cooking, gardening. Uh, my favorite teacher is Shabnam Khatun. Yeah. Thank you, Aditi. Thank you. And next. Welcome. My name is Porsho Mojumdar. I live in Kumilla and I read in Kumilla Jilla School, which is situated in Kandirpur, Kumilla. I am 14 years old. Thank you. That's my introduction. Thank you. And next, another student. And next, another student who joined. Please introduce yourself. Ma'am, my name is Faha Fatna and I'm from Pakistan. My hobbies are to read and study. I want to be a doctor. I want to treat my patients and I don't want to. My, and we are Muslims and our hobby is to worship one Allah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice introducing. And yes? My name is Sabrina Akhtar. I live in Chittagong. Ma'am, my sister Afia Tabasub Dorita will describe herself. He's a student. Uh, hello, Pulen. I can't hear. Huh. Yes, ma'am. Have you said something? Pulen? My sister is left to describe herself or giving introduction. She's remaining. Okay. Mm Net problem. Never find some. Okay.
have pleural joint. Thirteen participant. Can I video on on the On the video. Do we have any more students to introduce yourself? We can I? Yeah. Everybody, take my salam. I'm uh, Assalamu alaikum. I am Afiat Abbasum Nurida. I am a student of grade eight of Kala Government Girls High School. I am um, I live in Gafurgan Maimin Shing. I belong to Bangladesh. My father's name is Arifal Mamun. He's an English teacher, and my mother's name is Lotifa Khanam. He is also a primary school teacher. In future, I want to be an admin carer. That's all about me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nadi. You are full and sisters. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And next, another student. And next, another student. Ma'am, I think nobody is left. Nobody is left. Then I will go to my guest. I would request respectable sir. Introduce yourself. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello, alaikum as Hello, are you from? So voice is so low. Am I uh, not audible? Ah uh, yes. Okay. Now I will go my guest to just introduce yourself, sir. Please. Uh, Sabina. Sabrina. Sabrina, ma'am. Nazin Ho. Yes, ma'am. Nazin Ho. Apa? Yes, you can proceed. Yes. Sports a sports Yes, ma'am. sir, Mr. Alumgir sir. Yes, ma'am. Nazin. Sabrina, ma'am. Sabrina, ma'am. Sabrina Akhtar. Yes. Are you a student? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Fariha Islam? Fariha Islam? Mehra I've been speaking. Apa? Oh. Apa, just you introduce me. I'm not seeing yes, so yes, okay. her. Residential Gulf School and College. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I'm Farhia Islam Shirupa. Farhia, please continue. 
Yes, ma'am. I'm Fari Haslam Shirupa. At this stage, I will request Talukda sir to launch today program within five minutes. Please, Shamsuddin Talukda sir. Ma'am, I think Fariha is not prepared to introduce herself. Fariha. Okay, let's introduce. Sir, please. Well, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, today it is really very uh, good initiative that how our children will react within their environment and how they are thinking about uh, themselves and about their country. With that of other countries, uh, it might be understood by us when they will present their uh, task. So before that, I would like to talk about uh, something on culture. Uh, can I share a screen? Yes, sir. Yes, you can. Who's disabled? Please make, give me permission. Still now, this is not permittable. So, so you have to make me uh, post. Otherwise, I will not get the permit. Let's see. As this is not a. Mm. I'm not uh, without. Uh, you don't, uh, sir. You don't have to be the uh, host. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Being host, we can share. Sir, you can. Now you can do. Okay, that's good. All right, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, let's go to here, okay. Uh, is my slide is audible? Yes, sir. Or visible? Yes, sir, you, uh, yes, sir, you are visible and audible, clearly. Okay. All right, uh, just a minute. Okay. Mm. Display. Let me make my display. Okay. okay. So, uh, children, you please give a response with me whenever I will ask you any question. All right. Yes, sir. So, what yes, the sir. picture are you? What the picture are you seeing? Sir, boish, boish, ki mela, or bohe na boish. Okay. Okay. If anyone uh, fail to speak in English, never mind. You can speak in Bangla. Tomra kyu jodi English the kotha bolte katham to bodda koro, taole Bangla bolte parbe. Ir karon hulo, amade aske bishoy ta hulo. Tai na, amra onetta bujbo, nijetta bujbo. Chista kudbe ma prajne duto or mixon or tomra kotha bolte par. Pohela boishak ta kano hilo. I cannot understand your Bangla language. Oh, sorry, sorry. You are from Pakistan. Okay, I will, I, I will tell it in English. Never mind, I will tell it in English and Bangla. Why the Paila Buisha is here? Can anybody tell me? Do you Sir, know the I name can, of I can tell. Sir, Pohela yes. Buishak is a part of our culture and it's the Bengali viewers, so always it will be a part of our culture. Because of that reason, Pohela Buishak is in the apartments. Right. In, in that day, what are the things that takes place in our society? How we celebrate this day? What are the items to celebrate these days? <coughs> Sir, uh, in the in Bangladesh, the fairs in the ground in the long field, the fairs are held. There are many 
um, uh, the many parts of our culture. Um, I will tell you the the age we are living, the modern age. Many things of the rural Bangladesh are gone because uh, extinguished because uh, we are now using the modern facilities and benefit. Um, because of that reason, many things uh, in the rural Bangladesh, the the Kumar um, who create the, those things, um, the uh, the uh, 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 many things made of mud, they create it and sell it here. And many okay. uh, that's good. Uh, and we eat pantalish, the special food of Bangladesh. Special practically, food, uh, the days is very uh, important uh, because you know, hal khatha uh, in our rural yes, area, yes. In our rural yes, area uh, people borrow many things from the shop. But in this day, they are bound to. Uh, if we repack the money and the shopkeeper usually entertained with sweets and it's come from long ago. So this is the part of a culture. And again, uh, in this day, people are celebrating what our uh, ancestors did. They usually ate panta bhat. It means the rice with water and very important with the uh, fishes, especially the hilsha fish is very important. And nowadays people are just celebrating those days because they are always remembering the uh, words of our ancestors and they uh, came out to the road with a procession with colorful banner and festival. Well, so let's move. All, all right, uh, this is a dancing move. So in every culture, there is a form of dance. This is folk dance. Bangladesh, uh, in Bangladesh, we have uh, one sort of uh, dancing form. In village, especially uh, when uh, there is a marital ceremony, people usually dance there. Nowadays, the dance is performed in the stage also. And uh, if you go here, you will see in our ethnic uh, group, they have also their separate culture. Am I right? Their dancing pattern is different than those of us. Yes, sir. And their clothes yes, are sir. also different. So they're very colorful clothes. They wear a very colorful cloth. And usually they dance as they are harvesting uh, the cereals and they are going planted plants uh, in uh, hilly areas. So uh, this is really a very good source of their enjoyment. And this is a very uh, rich part of our culture. And if you go down, you will see uh, women are just uh, harvesting uh, their cereals from the field. And this is also a part of culture as because they are using uh, the very indigenous uh, tools. For example, uh, broom, kula, Kula means by which they are just uh, uh, they're just getting uh, on their heads and they're just vibrating that. Uh, that's why the rice is uh, getting out and the dust is going far. And other people is just uh, going to uh, mop the rice. Okay, uh, I will go really quick. Uh, what is culture? Culture is one of the important aspects in society. No human society can exist and develop without its culture. The main difference between the animal and human society is of culture only. Animal societies have no culture because they do not have systems of learning and transmitting social experience. You understand, we, we can easily uh, transfer our learning, our understanding, even we can write what we understand nowadays we are using a lot of uh, electronics media in order to transfer our ideas but uh, in animal uh, uh, kingdom as human being they were not capable to do such kind of thing so everywhere our understanding is changing so our behavior is changing with that of the innovation of tools our day-to-day -day utensils are also changing in the early life, uh, people eat over a leaf, but now we are using plate. And in some society, they are using one and thing. 
and this is also a part of culture and uh, you will understand how the culture is changing from one era to another era let's go here uh, you know uh, he uh, he's a very uh, good scientist edward taylor okay is that a taylor uh, just me yes sir uh, now you just see edward taylor what he said <clears throat> culture But is that complex in the class uh uh poland can you read yes sir i can read yes okay you just go on culture is a complex which includes knowledge that uh, belly uh, belly apps beliefs are beliefs 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 art law custom and any other capabilities ha and habits uh, acquired by man as a member of a, of the society good very good thank you very much and very important definition why if you look here uh, culture is not a unidirectional thing it's a very complex thing where we can include knowledge our beliefs our art and the form of art is different maybe some people are working on their house some are working on their uh excuse me um can i say something uh, sound is coming from sabrina doctor that uh, like this sabrina doctor ma'am you hear it important life habits acquired by men as a member of the society so 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 uh, let's move all right if you look here i am not going to uh, uh, give all the definition we already learn it now move uh, for next slide is okay types of culture material culture non material culture real culture and ideal culture let us try to understand what are the characteristics of material culture so material culture we understood material and physical of material culture so material culture we understood material and physical objects or in a step you are living in a house we are moving uh, through road we are just going from one place to another place by using vehicles we are using tent right on a table uh, we are using table for uh, keeping lot of things for our study we use the tv set books etc these are the products of human process and make life comfortable so we are just uh, inventing lot of things for the comfort of ourselves so every day some new invention is there uh, the utensils are very using you just see i am using it for uh, one thing is make me to listen you and by microphone it's make me talk with you this is the material culture non material space we include non material object for example uh one pakistani student told uh, she is belongs to religion of islam and this is 
or belief and he is acting like that what the religion are daily religion art ideas customs belief system even art this is something very abstract this is not a material you are just drawing maybe using pencil in uh, before you if you go 3000 years back you will see people draw picture inside the cave from where we knew the story how the use some did. mixtures like mud and water and uh, take the wood and sharp it and write from that right right exactly so uh, that's very good uh, the, the sharpening uh, the bone or a uh, tree branch and they are using the color from the nature sometimes they use the blood and then uh, they draw something in the floor of cave in the wall of cave and you know later on people are uh, able to uh, make a sculpture this is very uh, good culture of human being you know from very beginning people wanted to show that he is mighty full so uh, he start to build up a sculpture which is very big like a giant ideas what the ideas you are creating right now maybe you are thinking uh, okay i will uh, work in virtual world right now people can earn money through outsourcing customs means i am telling you assalamu alaikum this is a custom whenever any people is coming to our house we are telling please sit down how can i help you later on especially in bengali culture we offer some uh, food uh, for the guest value system means how we are valuing the people how we are saying the people is very good and we are honoring the elderly people we are going to love our younger attitudes means how should you look over a thing what you think the thing is what uh, that's the attitude Uh, knowledge you always getting it anywhere i am just going there because the time is very short okay okay this is uh, moving uh, you just see uh, culture is learned we can learn the culture because it might be transferred from one generation to another another generation whenever we are looking over something and we are trying to practice them then the culture the is culture, in us there was not social workmates and now there are oh no, pardon me what you say sir i said that when we are small we don't know what is our culture and when we are going grown up then you know what is culture really yes very 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 nice example thank you very much so you understand that culture is learned in early life or in in childhood you uh, did not understood many thing uh, at that of the time you are now able to understand many things so you are learning the culture whenever you are moving with your parents to a new place how your parents is going to behave with other people and you are following their that's really a, a good way to learn culture whenever uh, we are going in a new house uh, we are we are just looking after them how they are eating how they are washing their hands maybe sometimes some new ideas are just transferring from one family to other families culture is shared for example in our uh, childhood like uh, life we use usually listen the holy githi or folk song nowadays people are liking a pop song hip hop something like that so uh, uh it's just sharing if a person is going to the abroad he is just bringing some new idea and he is going to share with us uh, for example i am now wearing a jacket but uh, when uh, i was a very little boy then my grandfather wore chadur or a cloth of sheet you know for wrapping their body so culture is a shared it, it was, the jacket was used by the western people and ultimately it came to us as we are going to share something for example 
uh, nowadays uh, people are just getting their uh, microphone or headphone in their uh, uh, yeah uh, they're, they're listening something uh, they're chatting and that sort of thing were never in our country but uh, in a new life we are getting those things and we are sharing with the friends and other things Poland you know you are sharing a lot of ideas with your fa uh, foreign friends am I right in your English class yes ma'am yes sir uh, what the culture you learn you just uh, cite example by talking with them yeah. yes um, I talk to many uh, many foreign friends uh, like my age or some my big or my small um, they 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 do they, they their culture and our culture has many difference because in their culture they never play games outside the home they always try almost all people say that they play mobile games but our culture we like to play outside our home or abroad games and in their, in their instrument sites they don't use our local instruments like uh, they use flute but modern flute and also the parade we use in parade they they use those flute and they use guitar uh, we use bahala they uh, there and we are uh, between us and them we have many uh, difference i understand uh, by talking to them thank you sir okay you know uh, whenever we are talking with the nordic people do you remember uh, nordic people so uh, they were living in a tent Usually, uh, their uh, geographical area is spread over like some places very hot, some places very cool. And they're usually uh, use the uh, silk of an animal. Anyway, culture is transmitted. So culture is transmitted. Culture is changing. That's a very important point. Culture is changing. Okay. How the culture is changing? Can anybody give me uh, any example? Yes, sir. I can. Can I? 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 <clears throat> Sir, at, uh, in this pandemic situation of COVID-19, uh, after this situation, we are not um, uh, we are not um, able to um, take class in um, live at Facebook. But but after the COVID-19 situation, uh, pandemic situation come, then we have been um, uh, we have been adjust with these live classes. Then Zoom, we are not able to using Zoom. But in this uh, situation, we have learned about Zoom, and uh, now we are. Excellent. Thank you very much. Excellent. What she said, this is really a very good idea. Um, I How should our culture the is changing. will end in 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, so we'll join again. Yeah. Never mind. So I have to finish it very quick. Uh, culture is learned and culture is socially transmitted through language. So culture is learned, shared, culture is transmitted. Uh, okay. Composition of culture. There is a guidance people are supporting to follow. Said you are not at audible. Okay, I, I, I am not audible. Uh, now you are audible. Okay. So in this way, culture is changing. Uh, social norms, uh, all right. Uh, then you just go here. Laws, it is also changing our culture. Ideas, beliefs, values, how it changes. Said your voice is lowing down. Lower. Okay, now, now, now are you listening to me? Now are you listening? Yes, to me? sir. Yes, sir. We can listen yes, to you clearly. Okay, okay. So you are uh, perfectly audible. Thank you very much. Material culture, you just say is refers to the a concrete and the tangible object produced and used by man to satisfy his uh Uh, excuse me, you just see the picture. I'm, I'm okay. calling me. Hello, G. Bolo. I'm happy for any more to figure out what is for anybody. So, okay, let's go here. You just see so. Women are using jewelries, you know, 
So the pattern of jewelry is not same. It is varying from one customs to another custom. Even if you just start to journey uh, from Chattogram to Dinaspur, you will see the pattern of jewelry is changing. If you go to the ethnic people, their pattern is different. But, but we are now shifting. As you know, uh, nowadays women are using uh, jewelry which is made from marg. Maybe sometime it is made uh, from your uh, silver part. Silver. Okay. So in this way, uh, people are creating some new Come jewelry. from copper and plastic. Yes, yeah, we are also using plastic and something like that. Very good. In Greek, uh, they were honored by the crown of olive leaf. Anyway, symbols, uh, this is also a very important thing. We are now understanding many signs around us. That's also a part of the culture. Uh, don't talk, uh, don't push. Sir, we heart. have some national symbols too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In every country, they have their own symbols. And by looking after that symbol, we are understanding from which country or which nation we are talking and he is from where or what is his views and other things. Okay? Uh, different uh, uh, perspectives of culture. Sir, can I tell you about some symbols? Yes, yes. Sure, why not? Tell me. Sir, in our country, there are many symbols. So, there are... Our national flower symbol is jasmine, and yes, we have national yes. animal, and these are the symbols like national beard and national animals and like this. Uh, thank you very much uh, for listening. It is really very vast subject. As you Sir, your voice is lowering down. Uh, it, it is really a very uh, big uh, subject. Now, now uh, am I audible? Hello? Done speaking. Sir, sometimes your voice go down. For this, we okay. can't hear you. Okay, now? Am I audible? Now it is right. Okay, okay. Uh, because uh, maybe the uh, microphone in front of me, it is attested with the headphone. So whenever headphone is moving, microphone is moving. I will change it. Anyway, so uh, really, this is a very big arena. I, I would like to thanks Mamotas because this is like a very wonderful uh, subject or topic for the children through which they will uh, have understood a lot of things and it will allow them uh, to go forward with understanding. Thank you very much for uh, patient sharing. Allah Hafiz, uh, let me finish my show. Thank you, Mamotas. Now I'm going to give my flow. Thank you sir, for presenting our culture so beautifully. I'm really impressed by the students and forms of all students. Uh, I think in this way, it is possible to maintain our communication and share our routine with other countries and others. I in this stage, um, I want to know the identity of the students who joined from Pakistan. I want to know my name is Faha and I'm from Pakistan. My best, my hobbies are to play and to study. And I want to be a doctor and I want to treat my patients and my national symbols are Jasmine. The national flower is jasmine. National fruit is mango. The national animal is markhor. The national bird is chakor. And the national tree is, tree is oak tree. And the national vegetable is lemon. We have different types of vegetables, but all we use over here is lemon. Thank you very much for your nice introducing. Ma'am, can I inform something? Ma'am, I would like to add something. Yes. And that is, uh, in three minutes, our session is going to be end and we will reconnect. And some people start uh, turning off their camera.
Hello, ma'am. Yes. Sir, Mike and talking. And please don't interrupt anyone when he is talking to someone. Yes. Hello, ma'am. Can I introduce about me? Yes. Uh, my name is Maliha Meheraj. I'm from Bangladesh. Shobnam ma'am invite me and my friend to join this meeting. She is my favorite teacher. I'm passing my school life from Shere Bangla. Now I read in women's college in inter first year. My hobby is banker. So I choose my uh, passion and it is banker. Thank you for your and next another i would like to request the student to write in the chat box if you want to share something just uh, if you want to share something i would like to request the students to write in the chat box if you want to share something at this stage Colin, we present bangladesh when you can continue Ma'am, there is one minute left. I think I can present. Okay. If any of our teachers and parents wants to share something of our students, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm Ekta Abrol from India. Yes. How are you? First of all, I would like to thank Roxana, ma'am, for giving this wonderful opportunity to interact with students and people all around the world. It's, it's what is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. She is just an amazing person. Thank you once again. Thank you. It was a real pleasure. Less than one minute remains. Okay. Okay. I will so, Mayor, can my student Arya introduce herself? Yes. Yes, Arya. Would you like to express yourself? Um, yes, ma'am. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Ma'am, I'm Arya Shakti and I am from India. I study in City Montessori School and I am student. Yes, Arya. Yes, Arya, you can carry on. Arya, are you there? Hello. Yes, yes beta. Please carry on. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I am Arya Shakti. I am from India. I study in City Montessori School and I'm a student of class fifth. Thank you, Arya. And another student? Hello? Hello, ma'am. I am Mihika. Yes. You can introduce yourself, please. Ma'am, my name is Mihika. I am from Bangladesh. Um, um, Shobna, ma'am, is invite me. And my school name is Adventist International Mission School. Okay. I am in class 7. That's good. Poland, are you ready? 
Yes, sir. I'm, uh, sir. Uh, ma'am, I'm ready. Yeah, super. Then you can you try. Um, you can. Ma'am, you have to able the screen recorder. Allow me to share the screen. Okay, just one minute. Uh, and then you can. Can you see view my screen? Maybe you have uh, you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? So um, so, Assalamu alaikum, everybody. How are you? It's me, Pauline. Today, on the session, or now, we're going to see a PowerPoint presentation on culture, customs, and etiquette of Bangladesh. Okay, without wasting any time, I will begin. And to everyone, is welcome. Next, um, at the first. Flag and the map is uh, similar to everything of a country. So that's why, uh, it's also a part of culture, and you can see the flag. Our flag is the symbol. It's the symbol we are. Is the symbol that symbol that creates we are an independent country. And next, it is the map of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is eight divisions. Dhaka is the capital of Bangladesh. Okay, the next slide. What is culture? Um, in short way, I will tell you culture is a thing or language, religion, um, Christian social habits, music, arts that is related uh, to a people or a particular group. And tradition is taking maybe or doing something that has been used by people in particular group, family, society for a long time. For example, dance, custom tips, celebrations, games, and others. Please, some somebody uh, is talking. Shut your microphone. It is you are disturbing. Okay, I the next the greatest festival in Bengali is Pahla Boishak. because Pahla Boishak is the uh, Bengali New Year in uh, the Bangladesh. Um, it is celebrated in the first day of Bengali New Year. In in all over the Bangladesh, people celebrate this as nicely. The uh, the Hindu, Muslim, but the Christian, everyone cele um, celebrate it. This is the uh, celebration of all. Okay. In Pahala Boshak, uh, there is many deserts eaten. There are many water, uh, uh, water we eat watermelon. Um, uh, jilapi is a kind of snack. And the sweets are eaten on this day. On this day, Panta Ilish is a special dish. Panta Ilish is rice, watered rice, and the hilcha fish. And hilcha fish is the national food of Bangladesh. Next, in this day, the tra <coughs> it's a traditional festival for the traders is Halkata. On this day, they serve their old uh, uh, buyers by uh, giving them some sweets. And they open a new account or the notebook for their shops. The main food of Bangladesh is the uh, the Bangladesh is famous for rice production, which has been chief occupation of its people. Rice, there is the main food of Bangladesh. The Bangladeshis eat rice, not just a small qu uh, quality, uh, but a lot. They eat, they eat rice every day and every meal with a great tasty and spicy curry of vegetables, fishes and meat too. But nowadays, many people started eating uh, uh, rutis or bread on the morning or at night. So this culture is getting lost or extinguished. So I will, I will go to the next slide. Um, uh, can anyone view my slide? Uh, okay, I'm 
your favorite in snacks we eat many different items and many water uh water material items <coughs> mostly we eat shingara samosa dolpuri naan muidlai bharta tandoori it's these are very delicious for uh, in our snacks in old dhaka they used to eat shola bhaja shahjila peep and bakur kha khali we also eat different type of handmade pickles those are very delicious next the various varieties of indian and marine fishes are available uh, through our, our through the country the fish is a very very common thing to bangladesh very very common food for bangladesh because bangladesh is a riverine country in riverine country bangladesh the rivers of bangladesh are like the net over the country so eel butterfish ruhi katla uh, ritha pungas uh, i mean catfish walking fish eats are very tasty and common fish in bangladesh um, uh, uh, in our culture there is fish and rice made Bangal bangladeshi among the all many fishes lobster red shepherd rupchanda tuna bhetki lotia are very popular and bangladesh's national food uh, is ja uh, jackfruit uh, you, uh, it is very juicy and sustainable you may take a taste of fuzlia a famous mango for uh, surfing experience here is the number of varieties of mango having uh, exotic uh, national differing in taste varying the sweets in even flavors the leeches of rachi are juicy and colorful pleasing both eye and tongue pineapple and pineapple is another treat lots of them are grown on the hilly area the remarkable fruits of bangladesh guava plum pla, uh, plum pla, palm watermelon banana not only this bangladesh has many many more fruits okay this is a way, uh, this is a cult, uh, competition of our culture and this is very old it's a boat race the boat race is very exciting but before going to a boat race you have to always know how to swim next this is bull race it is so so interesting and exciting but as exciting it is like it it is very dangerous the competitor or athlete has to first try with the calf and then he will try with the bull and it is very dangerous many people uh, losing a hand or losing your one eye is very common in this race next this is nokshikatha a very important but, uh, part of our culture nokshikatha is so beautiful you can uh, imagine the beauty of the nokshikatha in the photos so the folk songs are sung in traditional style including the themes words of tools of songs that have existed a long time among the among the people's mind the folk songs are, are now getting existed uh, extinguished we should save them because it is a part, a part of our culture next it is there are many type of ethnic group in bangladesh chak bamar bamur dhanjonga etc and these are some photos of them and they have their own language dress job style and also many competitions yeah. here is chakma chakma is a, a, the most largest ethnic people uh, uh, ethnic people's group in bangladesh i know something uh, i some about chakma so i have written it here <coughs> their language is as a path food their special food is peda ting ting and they they eat similar foods like our person they dress the chakma women wear a ankle length cloth and on the waist who is called fin uh, finon and also hadi wrapped uh, wrapped above the waist well the silver orna ornaments okay next the now i have given the three reasons why the ethnic peoples group are getting extinguished all of the education uh, i will tell first because it's a modern age the government of bangladesh are creating the, <coughs> the creating and raising the 
primary education all over the country. They are trying to and they are building many primary educator centers. <coughs> or you can say primary school. <coughs> all of the education centers do not know their mother language. In their, I mean the mother language of the uh, ethnic people. So to be educated, they have to leave their mother language. Not leave, they have to learn Bengali and they get educa uh, educated. To earn money, they study abroad and find job abroad. Some also go to experience the uh, world outside and they fell in love with the modern, uh, modern dress and the modern, they prefer modern city opportunity and benefit. They, in living in the modern area is easy for them, so they started live in the modern areas. So, uh, Bangladesh is a special country because Bangladesh has six seasons in a year. All over the country, all over the world, no country has six, six seasons. The seasons are summer, second rainy season, third autumn, fourth late autumn, five winter, six spring. And next, this is the first season, summer. I like summer because summer in summer you you can play outside your home plus uh, there are no mud outside so it's rainy season it rains uh, in rainy season Bangladesh has a beautiful sight you can see in the photos next this is autumn in autumn the uh, the um, uh, flower of Bangladesh are very very cute and the weather is very good to go outside your home and visit many places. <coughs> the late autumn comes. The farmers are cutting and bringing harvest to their home. The homemakers are uh, homemakers boiling and crops or boiling the crops or the harvest and they are selling it. So it comes good for the farmers. Next, this is winter. Winter comes Bangladesh with the certain of dense fog. It means that winter comes to the poor house of poor people as very bad reason. It makes a very bad world because the poor people do not have um, good uh, good clothes and they don't have um, um, facilities. But the people who are rich, they can buy many uh, the, many many things and good clothes jacket and they can wear it so they, uh, they in the winter they are feeling well flowers who bloom during the spring around it like and for the uh, the um, spring is called the queen of all season because uh, because it's beauty next i will go to the religions of bangladesh islam islam uh, mainly the all over the Bangladesh Islam uh, the people uh, are in is Muslim people are Muslim main Islam's main festival is Eid al Adha and Eid al Fitr Hindu the Hindu peoples are the Hindu festivals are Lucky Puja Durga Puja Kali Puja etc Buddha Buddha uh, Buddha religions main festival is Maghi Purnima. Christian, their main festival is Christmas and Easter Sunday. So I am a Muslim, so I know about the Eid. What do we do? So I written some lines. <laughs> In our country, <laughs> the main festivals of Muslim are Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Ajha. We get up early in the morning. We eat some food, or somebody, some people does doesn't eat food and go to the Eid field. They take their prayer. In the field, they always met their, their relative people they know. They hug with their each other and and uh, they forget their all bad bad dreams and start a new life. In in this day, the people raise their hand among the poor people and help them. In this day, many people also go to their relatives' house. So now we will head to the days of the special uh, days of Bangladesh and the special days of Bangladesh one is the national mother language day not only national the international mother language day 
1995, the uh, the the Pakistan by rule on the population, our population was more than the Pakistan. In that time, where we were not independent, so our population was 54 percent, and there were uh, 46. So we were more than them, and the, the Bangla deserve the state language, but they didn't give. They didn't give Bangla the state language. For so. The people of Bangladesh started march against them. So the Pakistan government didn't forbear that. Then, then they shoot at them, uh, the police fired at them, and they died. So the all over the nation, the the the, the march get widespread. And at last they have to give Bangla as the state language. So I will not tell more about it because I have to, uh, this is not our part of culture, part of our culture. But the Bangla is the International Mother Language Day and uh, and our Mother Language Day. So it is a, I uh, take it in the slide, slide, slide share. So this day, it is uh, 26 March when Bangladesh got independent. On this day, Pakistan army attacked Dhaka University barracks and the and the night Pakistan for forcefully arrested Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman. Pakistan got killed the person who they got alive. <coughs> the Pakistan government give the uh, the no uh, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman. Uh, the date was the uh, 15 March. 15 March on uh, 1971, the Bangabandhu Sheikh Pajabar Rahman gave the uh, declaration of independence in that night. Or you could say 26 March in the morning. On 16 December uh, in 1971, Pakistan forces surrendered by a nine month war. That time when Bangabandhu gave the declaration, 15 March, uh, 25 March to 16 December, the war ended. 30 million people of Bangladesh died in the war. Nowadays, we celebrate this day by singing songs, having many ceremony, and we sit poem. And we also <coughs> we also uh, have a dance. And many in the many schools we have many in many schools we have competitions and ceremony. We give the flower in the city show though to to remember them. We create a thing that is called Shiti Shodo, we give flower on this day. Next, this is Cox's Bazaar. It's not a part of our culture, but I have made it because it's Bangladesh is a very small country, but just imagine the biggest sea beach. There are many big, big countries all over the world, like India, China, Russia, but they, but Bangladesh as the small country, Bangladesh, there is the longest sea beach. All over the country, the big nations do, do not help. So this this is a good thing for us. I'm proud of my country. And next, this is Lal Bakkela tourist attraction of Bangladesh. Um, this uh, this has a long history behind it. This is Sundarbon. The it's a world heritage. On 1991, UNESCO has declared it as a world heritage. In here, the Royal Bengal Tiger lives. And it is the home of Royal Bengal Tiger. <coughs> this is shown around one time it was up it was the capital of Bangladesh, but the king's son died king's son lost in a war on Sunagaon, so they shifted the capital to Dhaka. From that Dhaka is our capital. Thanks for watching. The slide is ended. Ma'am, can I share something? First, thanks to um, Fulen uh, for a nice presentation. Uh, here is notable that um, I have submitted attendance form in chat box. Please, everyone, fill in the attendance form. I request all of you. Ma'am, ma can I tell how we celebrate our new year? Yes, 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 you can. Ma'am, we give gifts to one another and we also you send it on a direct flowers. message. The link you send it on the direct message, not 
you send it to me direct message you didn't send it to everyone who wants to present hello ma'am can i present arya shakti maybe yes, she wants to present her country please you can yes ma'am Yes. Um, please, can you? Uh, proceed it to all it is minimized just Please. A minute. yeah just a minute i'm sharing again wait wait um you start sharing i will show something Still, it is uh, okay. Just a minute. I'll present the slides. You start sharing. I will show something. Okay. No. I have made a slide. You can click on it, and I'm erasing. Click here. Click here. So it will be. Just let me. Arya. Okay. The video. I can't see any option. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I can erase. Yes. Yes. Now see, you can. I have. I have. I have sent it. Um. Uh, approve me. Approve me. I'm. Okay. Approve me. Have you approved it? Okay, yeah, now I'm able to present. Uh, yes. So you can present. Ah, uh, you can share yes. successfully. Please. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. You can carry. Namaskar. Yes, ma'am. Namaskar, everyone. I'm Arya Shakti, and I am from India. India is a vast country with twenty eight states and eight union territories. The speciality of India, in India, wherever you go, you will find unity in diversity. People of all religions live happily together. In India, there are many types of languages, but each one is spoken sweetly. There are many types of food, but each one tastes delicious. There are many types of festivals, but each one is celebrated by everyone with great joy. Okay. India. India has a rich culture, and that has become our identity. Be it in religion, art, intellectual achievements, or performing arts, it has made us made us a colorful, rich, and diverse nation. In India, there are glorious tra traditions. We even worship tourists. It is said that if I go to other countries, I must be a tourist. But in India, I am a pilgrim. There are many types of festivals in India. But Diwali is the main festival of Hindus. And it is my favorite festival too. Mm -hmm. Diwali, also known as Festival of Lights, Joy and happiness this is the main festival of Hindus. On this day, we light diyas and worship Lord Ganesh and Lakshmi and burn crackers. Thank you. Thank you, Arya, for your nice presentation. Uh, in this stage, I would like to Shamsuddin Talukdasar for uh, Arya's 
presentation for giving feedback. Okay, this is wonderful as uh, we are elderly people, our children are really doing something very wonderful. If I remember, if I go back, when I was a university student, even for doing my thesis, I was waiting for long six months for getting a paper. Right now, within a click, people are getting paper. And not only one, maybe 1,000. How the big scopes are there. And our children are using that very nicely. Very nicely, undoubtedly, to our uh, graphics, our presentation, a combination of word and the diagram is really what we cannot think. They're thinking psychologically. What the things will strike the human mind and they are able to think in that way. And this is really our power. To expose this power, we, we need to aware our parents and teachers. You know, freedom is the source for the knowledge. Whenever we are going to, uh, better I can say, locked within a room, then the children will never learn anything. Because you know, Colin, uh, he just grade five. Aria, what grade uh, are you reading? Grade six. Okay. Yes. Five student. Class five student. Class five student, both. Uh, Poland and she is from same grades, almost same age. In my age, still I'm afraid of to talk in front of any people. Very true. Very true. But, but they are not afraid of that. And uh, it will be very wonderful to know that once I was joining in one uh, seminar, conducted by Indian people for whole day. And the innovator are just uh, talking for five minutes and I was just listening. Suddenly I saw Poland was there. Poland just knock and tell the, okay, uh, tell them, oh, can I participate? Uh, let me know where's the webinar is. Would you please tell me? You just think. Still, oh, this is impossible for me within a meeting to knock out and telling them, what are you doing here? And really, uh, they answered it very nicely. And Poland requested, uh, can I participate with you? So, so thrusting of knowledge exactly is coming on, uh, here and what they want to gain. And uh, the moderator uh, told him, okay, you, you might join, but after 6.30. You are welcome. So you just see, if we do not allow our children to talk with the children of other part of the world, our children will never grow up in that way to fight against the problem in future or in other words, to face the challenges in a positive way, to face the challenges. Right now, I know everyone, those who are enjoying here, they have that idea to express, but unfortunately, they are not habituated to talk in front of the people, uh, so they feel shy. Maybe if we allow them to come out with their ideas, so they might uh, come out with a lot of ideas. You know, even if you just look over a sugar bar, uh, when he was a university student. Where can I share my slideshow of my culture? Uh, oh, oh, uh, Norita, okay. No, sir, I'm Farah. Okay, okay, maybe I will uh, give it to Mamotas. Uh, thank you, excellent. So with the parents and teachers should allow our children systematic why, uh, how to behave within a group and how to they have to acquire knowledge with a uh, joyful environment. This is our uh, really very big duty right now. Thank you, Mamotas, for uh, uh, giving me opportunity. Maybe some participant want to hear his ideas or uh, our presentation. Now, your turn. Um, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mamotas, uh, I'm surely I will uh, give you this chance. Um, in this stage, uh, I have to. 
uh, I want to say something about Poland's presentation. Uh, Poland's presentation. Please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much, ma'am. It had been a great pleasure and I really agree with sir. See, what uh, I observe that when we were children, our teachers perhaps did not have the courage to give us the courage. Mm, yeah. Because they were scared that we may make a mistake. And we may let them down. But here when we are teachers, we want to give them more confidence. And we have more trust on them that they are going to bring themselves up. And they are more open to this world. They are ready to explore the world. What we need to tell them just to curb, to curb the technology. We need to check them. We need to tell them that's it, how much they have to curb themselves. That's the only thing. Otherwise, Thank you for you. Ma'am, I'm back. Ma'am, can I speak and share? Yes, yes, you can. Ma'am, today our topic is culture of Pakistan. Okay, Pakistan. Please continue your slide. Ma'am, the definition of culture is culture may be defined as behavior per peculiar to human beings together with material objects used. Culture consists of language, ideas, benefits, customs, codes, instruction, tools, techniques, works of arts, ceremonies, and so on. According to Alama Iqbal, culture is the characteristics and knowledge of a particular group of people defined by defined by everything from language, religion, cuisine, social habits, music, and arts. The society of culture of Pakistan comprises numerous and ethnic groups. Punjab, Sindh, KPK, and Balochistan. Pakistani culture has the following characteristics Islamic values and traditions, languages, mixed culture, food, variety of dress, and handmade crafts. Pakistani culture is actually a part of the, the Islamic civilization which draws the value and traditions from Islam and rich Islamic history. Majority of population comprises of Muslims and follows teaching of Islam. We live in one Allah Prophet has reformed just I interrupt to you. Just I interrupt to you. Uh, after four minutes, we will be joined. Okay. Please. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma uh, after four minutes, we will be joined in Zoom. Uh, please continue your slide. Just note about. After four minutes, we will be joined. Yes, continue. You continue. Just continue. Ma'am, can I continue? Yes, yes. Belief in one Allah Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, brotherhood, equality, and social justice. Islam is region of peace and patience. Languages. There are different languages. A number of languages are spoken in Pakistan. National language is Urdu and the regional language are Punjabi, Sindhi, Pashto and Balochi. Mixed culture is people entertain 
and at the windows in this valley from iran turkey arabia central asia iraq and adopted the sea route to reach the soil of sub continent mm -hmm. they bought their tradition customs festivals and way of life the social culture mixed with the culture of new arrivals created the multicolored culture on on the soil of the present day pakistan food due to the regional climate variations in pakistan variety of food is available in pakistan punjab paratha makkhan lassi and then fish seafoods kpk sajji bazmi bazmi etc Pakistan dry food fruits and pulses varieties of dresses pakistani culture is very rich in variety of dresses the people of punjab the pathan pathans of nwfp the balochi people and the sindhis wear their own distinct dresses these dresses are very colorful and prominent they give and give attractive look during national fairs and festivals handicrafts the handicrafts in pakistan are of great value and they are highly appreciated both men and women participate in their production some are sports and surgical surgical goods at sagot sheets and behra and multan cutlery of cutlery from wazirabad culture culture includes religion literature art architecture dresses music manners and customs has its roots in the islamic culture islam has described the islam has described the rights of the duties of every individual in drinking eating and dressing we have to observe certain rules respect prescribed by the islam so it may be said that pakistani culture represent the true picture of islam culture my can i ask you something thanks for yes how do you bathe so well Ma'am, can you make me the host or the co-host? Ma'am, there is a new supplement called co-host. I just made it so well. Bye. I am. I was just typing and doing the work on, and I just make PPT. I have seen you have shown a firm PPT or slide share linked in. I don't use it, so I take time. Okay, I will uh, see the website.
เราต้องไปทีเดียวไปเล่นนักกีฬาและคุณรู้ว่าที่นี่มีดิเวนต์แต่ดิเวนต์ยูไม่ได้สู้รบ The, the children are thinking very diversely, and now am I audible? Yes, sir. hello. Yes, sir. You can. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. The thing is that our children are really very powerful. They now able to understand what is diversity, and within that, what is unity. Uh, from India and from Pakistan and from Bangladesh, we all understood. They described it very nicely. And if we just look over it, uh, what the common thing is there? If you think about a dress, it is almost same because we are in Asian subcontinent. But within that, there is a variation. The work of the dress is uh, vary from one region to another region. Even within the same locality, the dress is varying. So, so this is the power of culture. So we have to honor it. We have to value it. Within that culture, we are getting all the people are doing art, doing design, and with that up, they are just obey their religious. You know, uh, from Pakistan and Bangladesh, women are wearing their dress as the uh, religious is guiding them in other hand in india if you see that's a very diverse country and many people are living there and uh, uh, even uh, their environmental variation is so high some are very dry some are with the full of glacy uh, some are like us uh, in east bengal is almost like uh, our environment Within that environment, how they are adapting their dress, and this is also a part of a culture. Whenever you are living in a desert, you have to change the design, color, shape, and size of the cloth. Whenever you are in a, a very cool area, you have to change your design. Whenever you are very hot area, your uh, change of dress uh, will take place. Ultimately, if you consider any point. Even language is a very powerful tool of a culture. Very powerful tool of a culture. Whenever our rural people are talking with their local language or colloquial language, then they are enjoying too much. They can express their idea from their heart. But if you just follow one unique language, then the spontaneous city is coming down, coming down. And even uh, if you look uh, in our Bangladesh, if you go to the Shirogam, Garbai Shi Garbai Shi Gura Dara Dara, if nobody is from Shirogam, he will not understand what I I told. But uh, if you just go to the Dinaspur, okay, uh, they will not uh, understood the language of the Shirogamian. But both are from Bangla. This is one unicity. Even if you go to the India, still now all over the world there is another culture. It was known as Hindi English. It means the voice, the tone, and intonation is different than other English-speaking country. But all over the world, they are now believe uh, where the Indian are speaking in English, this is accepted, and this is happening due to the culture, because culture is. Transmitting from one area to another area. Whenever I talk in Indian people uh, in any country, what I saw, they are speaking with uh, some uh, accent from Hindi, but very nice and clean. You know, even you go to the deeper of the music, uh, if you do not understand Hindi, but you feel that's some some rhythm. Even if you go to the Urdu, you will get that rhythm because their intonation. And the stress is very uh, clean, but in Bangla we have not such kind of intonation and stress. Stress. Uh, that's why, whenever we are uh, singing from our heart, we are feeling this is very nice. But if you consider a language, it have its own voice, own voice. And if you go, uh, uh, maybe 
uh, you know, there are some uh, world famous, uh, I want to say, uh, all famous music. A every person on the earth likes it. Even if you go to the France, if you just listen to the language, you will feel, uh, okay, you will not understand. You will feel the rhythm of the language. You will feel the rhythm of the language. That's really very wonderful. Uh, if you go to the uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, okay, uh, they're, they're using Arabic language, but they, they still know there is a language. Find it, but you will listen any joyful language, you will feel, oh, this is for the joy. Whenever you will listen any sorrow language or which is just uh, coming out due to some uh, stress or something he is narrating which is uh, not pleasant to us, then you will feel it, whatever the language. It's really one beautiful rhythm that human beings are carrying and bearing. Still now, all the human beings, okay, oh, all over the world, the symbol is same. Whenever you will be angry, people will be able to understand, oh, he is angry. Whenever you are in a joyful mood, every people understood, oh, he is in a joyful mood. And that's another big power of culture. Now, in, uh, in, the, in the present world, if we look over what is happening, we, we, we fail to honor other culture. That's one of the reasons many ethnic, uh, many ethnic uh, conflict is taking place. You know, nowadays, why the people are thinking that my culture is richer than those culture? Never. Every culture has its own value. We have to respect them. Today, really, we get an opportunity uh, to teach our children how to respect other culture, how they are unified, uh, unified in one place, united in one place, and how they are the diverse. And uh, the three uh, presentations we have already seen, this really very big, big uh, opportunity for us. Even in our school, even in any school, if they arrange such kind of program, as a project, okay, you have to go and visit uh, maybe uh, not his own country, another country, and just uh, br bring out some idea about their culture and the children, if get the chance to present it in front of their friends and students, then uh, other students will present the other country's culture. So at the same time, they will able to think critically because there is a lot of elements. You can just cross one another. So something is very similar. Something is very different. Why those things are different? Why these things are similar? When they will arise this sort of question in their mind, then they will start to search, okay, uh, how should it come here? If you look, uh, even this is also a part of a culture to study the human bone. How the human bone shape is changing with that of the time. If you go back 5,000 years, 10,000 years, maybe 1 million years, you, you will get an idea how the shape of bone is changing from one era to another era. And with that of the thing, you will be able to understand the characteristics of human being. And that was the culture of their time. And how we evolved, how the culture is helping us to honor one another. I thought, I think my children understood very nice. And really I learned a lot of things from my young teachers. It's really wonderful. Okay, so any children, do you uh, want to put forward any comments? You are now free. You please, uh, then we'll uh, listen from our teacher. Uh, any of the children, any of the students, if you want to express your ideas or your thinking, or you can put forward any comments, Okay, or you might be asked any question to anybody. Uh, Mumtaz, am I right? Can we give them opportunity? Uh, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Farha, maybe raise your okay. hand. Farha. Okay, okay, Farha. We, just allow, we just allow her. Farha, would you say something? Yes, ma'am. Yes. That our culture is the big power of our country. 
Yes. That's nice. The culture is the power. Anyway, uh, he just make one comment. That's very important point. Culture is our power. So we have not to hate any book. If, it, if he is a sweeper, he is a part of our culture. If he is a vendor, he is a part of our culture. If he is a driver, he is a part of our culture. Because without driver, we might not move from one place to another place. He is decorating his vehicles very nicely. If you go to the India, their truck was designed in very nice way. If you go to Pakistan, you will see it is uh, very from the design and structure of the India. If you come to Bangladesh, you will see another sort of design. Uh, so really, this is a part of the culture. So drivers are making one sort of culture which is transforming human idea to in another form. In many trucks, you see, uh, you have to go for prayer. You should uh, send the children to the school. Uh, don't argue with the elderly people. You have to show respect to elderly people. Ultimately, it blinded with our culture. It's carrying a lot of uh, messages. If you look over the rickshaw in the behind, you will got a lot of pictures, rickshaw pictures. And sometimes it is also giving us some message. And it is also... Uh, describe how our elderly people start to uh, talk about a story, how the love story is going there, how the, uh, maybe a rover, how he, he was helping the uh, 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 people like that. So from nowadays, I will request the children, those who are here, even elderly people can do it. You can make one scrapbook. Do you have any idea about a scrapbook? Any children? So she a snap book? Yeah, snap book, snap book. So okay. please yeah. pronounce again. A scrap book, a scrap. A scrap, a scrap. So understood. You know? Okay, I'm telling you. Whenever the vendor is collecting the iron, it is known as a scarf. So he, he just scarf. Scrapbook. scrapbook is a book. Maybe you will take a, a blank uh, book like this. In every page, you have to paste the picture of other countries, which is very significant. And you can just paste some of the papers uh, talking or papers article with that of the those. And then uh, whenever you get chance, you will just paste. Okay, uh, you are going to open a newspaper, you see, oh, there's a very beautiful dance of Russia. You just cut down and set it here. Below that, you just write, this is a dance from Russia, dated at them. So you go to Afghanistan, you just collect their dancing form, you just uh, write down there. So ultimately, one day it will tell you a story how the people is diverse in a sense of dancing and how they are united in a form of dancing. Maybe uh, you might be interested about the building shape and structure. If you go to the Africa, you will see uh, their buildings are already round shaped and uh, they are using uh, their uh, roof uh, like a cone shape, their roof, and people are moving around those things. And if you go to the uh, maybe a Siberia or in other parts, which is full of ice, you will uh, see the igloo. Even nowadays, people are trying to make their building under the sea. So even in our country or in every country, if you just start to make a journey for 50 miles and after three miles, you will take the picture. Later on, you will just arrange the picture in a PowerPoint. Then you will see how the houses are changing, how the cultural lands are changing. You will see the uh, several types of corn, and if you just take the, even I, I am giving you an, another good idea in my, uh, when I was a university student, at that time the photography was a very costly, but I did it regularly. I took the face of many people and then I print it. Then I just place one after another. Then I wanted to uh, know why the people is very sorrow. Why the people is in a joyful mood. Why the people uh, shape, face shape is not like that? Why they are different? 
in what reason why the some people are black you know uh, whenever yeah you want to say something yes please aria tell me yes so so in a scrapbook we can take the images uh, we can take from the internet and get the print out and we can paste different type of food um, sir food items of different places we can very write good, about good. that okay so, you just so, see the people very nice yes, you just see from the that we can understand that what means what is the diversity in the food and some food okay. items are different in different uh, some food items are same in different places okay very good that's the innovation you just see we are talking all over the day innovation 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 no innovation nowhere right now aria just innovated one new idea and that's from our head this is the power this is the power i will live in future she will able to do something very good for the human being you know whenever you are just not only that uh, she is very little if you think i will write down the food value then you will get another scientific information in next stage you can uh, thought like that oh you could thought like that oh that's nice so what sort of combination of food will be good for my health you get that idea then you can just divide it in a, a category of taste sour sweet maybe like that so later on whenever you will be uh, uh, bigger so you can make some chemical test why the food color is like that then another question will come why the seed is inside the food why uh, this is not uh, very smooth why this is fibrous why the shape and size is not same why the pattern of seed is not same in all the food why uh, some food contain only a seed why some food contain several types of seed or several number of seeds and the arrangement of this seed so you just see and uh, yes please uh, someone is want to uh, say okay please go on. sir if we internet problem maybe saha say something okay uh 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 is disconnected is disconnected my brother maybe later on we will just talk with him uh, i i am seeing polash mojumdar is here and our uh, respective home sir nasiruddin sir is uh, listening very i want to say something yes please Mavatus Rukh said, "Ma'am, said she will give a link Google Docs. I mean, fill up from the form, but she said it direct message to me. So I oh. think everyone hasn't got it." Okay, Mavatus, you please put uh, your link in the chat box. Then everyone will get the form. Okay. Yes. Uh, now, uh, is there any student? Is there any student who wants to say something new, some some idea, innovative idea? Okay, right now from Pakistan and India, you can just make a friendship with the people who are here uh, from Bangladesh. I uh, that's the uh, opportunity. That's the opportunity. I so have, a, sir. I have innovative idea. Okay, what's that? Um, sir, we know um, some. Pakistan, India, and my our relatives' country, uh, relative country, and we can collect uh, the their information in a power presentation. Power presentation in power slide. We can give their language name, their dress, their population, their um, sir, many things about them, and that anyway, will help us. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Aria, give some idea. You put forward some idea, and you just start to think what you can do. Maybe after a month, uh, Roxana will call again you. Then you will show it to us. It will be very wonderful platform. We will be able to see your innovation. What kind of innovation are you going to do? Maybe in some platform we will not talk a single word. 
the children will just run the program they will manage the program uh, then it will be really give them a carries to run a program from their own so they are uh, living in a uh, separate country so you will see there will be a harmony uh, we can arrange such kind of program it might be helpful for us anyway so uh, okay uh, roxana ma'am already given uh, your google form in a chat box uh, if you please uh wish uh, then you can just fill up that form maybe she will give you some surprise okay now uh, uh polash would you like to say something i will come to nasiruddin sir never mind polash are you there yes polash yes Thank yes assalamu alaikum assalamu How do you feel about this program? Right, sir. In, <laughs> nice and excellent program, sir. Uh, joined uh, my child this program. Uh, That's good. Very nicely. So, do you think in future we have to arrange such kind of program for the children? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, I uh, I will prepare him. Uh, then uh, after he make a presentation. Okay, sir. Okay, very nice. Today, this is a platform, so they will get carries. They will start to speak in home. They will start to uh, give a lecture in front of mirror. Ultimately, they will able to uh, present themselves uh, to other uh, about how uh, he, she, or he is behaving, what she wants to express, and, and really, if the parents help the children. So the children will come out with some new ideas. Yes, thank sir. You. Definitely, sir. Thank you. So thank you very much, sir. Penny. Yes, sir. Your wife is now at in Penny. You are in Kumilla. Okay. Yes. Your your children? Children uh, at Penny. With, 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 with me, sir. With me. <laughs> with me, sir. Kumilla. Okay. Okay. But the duty is cool. Uh, duty is cool. Uh, duty now, is cool, uh, is there? A, uh, I will go to Nasiru the later on. Is there anyone who wants to say something? Uh, any parents or any uh, teacher? Thank you, sir. The yeah. floor is free. Nasiruddin, sir, probably continue. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I would like Thank to you. ask both of you. Samsuti Nam me taluk dar sa. Floor give me the floor. Today's program uh, is very nice. I am very pleased to see or was the presentation uh, made by the Arya uh, by the uh, presentation made made by the uh, Faha Fatima from Pakistan. 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 Pollen, pollen, pollen from Bangladesh. Uh, uh, he is a little master. I am very, uh, very much pleased uh, to you, uh, today's uh, chief guest, Samsudin Am Talukdar, as well as the oh, keynote speaker today's session. <laughs> I am their parent. I am their friend. Anyway, uh, I thank to Mamutas uh, Roxana for arranging a, a nice uh, program. Uh, today's session is culture, customs, and etiquettes. It is very nice and excellent topic uh, for everybody. Today, Today's program, uh, uh, three students from uh, my Kumira Residential Girls School and College uh, attend here. Sham Shuman Arif, uh, he's my son. Uh, 
He Then studied Rotary. in Rotary Masjid the Literacy Center, Kumira. Oh, nice. Uh, Sabrina Akhtar, uh, now she uh, now she is uh, uh, stay with us. Sabrina Akhtar, uh, uh, she is my student. Uh, Good. Ismod Jahan Akhi. Ismod Jahan Akhi. Uh, connected with me, with us, Ismod Jahan Aki. Uh, she is the student of class 10 uh, in Komira Residential School and College. Uh, today, uh, other participants, uh, Polash Mojumdar from Kumilla, uh, Selina Khatun. Uh, Serena Khatun and uh, Miring, uh, Miridongo Bishas and uh, 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 Rishmi, uh, Rishmi Singha and other also uh, present here. Uh, I am uh, very uh, pleased. Uh, some uh, here from a uh, little uh, master. Uh, I am very uh, happy. I thank to uh, Shamsuddin Ahmed Talukdar Sar, uh, who is uh, always active and uh, uh, he is very. Uh, efficient and he participated in any uh, kinds of online program. I uh, see him uh, in uh, every meeting uh, who arranges uh, such as Mamutaz Ruksana. Uh, is excellent lady uh, who uh, arranged uh, time to time such this kind of uh, meeting. So I am very happy to uh, participate in this program and hear from today's presenter. So, I want to uh, participate in future uh, ENST program. Uh, I try my best to uh, uh, participant, uh, increase the participant of my uh, school uh, to okay, this, in this program. So sir. thank you very much, Roxana Akhtar. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, Nafis, sir. <laughs> uh, I, I'd like to request uh, thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance okay. to say Nafis, something. Sir. Ji, okay, sir. Okay, I, I would like to say something. Yes, If, yes, sir. Uh, your your student of class nine, uh, will, uh, go with their science subject with me. Uh, for two or three zooms for the basic, then uh, I will give them time. If you can arrange the, that sort of uh, zoom. Yes, yes. Understand? Am I clean? Am I clean? Okay. Uh, because you know, uh, yes. this is very important for us. Uh, nowadays, uh, I'm seeing many teachers class in the online class, but still now we have to learn a lot because Controlling a uh, student from remote is very crucial and is very technical. It's very technical. And you have to activate from long distance. It is somehow very difficult for many teachers. Still, we have to learn a lot about it and we have to do a lot of research. Uh, if you just see this uh, session, I just allow the children to talk because uh, this is their part. Whenever they will talk, they will be activated they will produce something new. In our day-to-day uh, -day class, we need uh, that sort of thing. 
So thank you very much, Nasiruddin sir, for your uh, joining here to inspire us. Thank you very much. Still now, uh, Ikta ma'am is here. Maybe uh, we have to listen from her as we are at the end of the program. Uh, and really, I'm very happy that I have a very good friend right now. Uh, she is Ikta. Okay, uh, from which uh, province are you, Ikta ma'am? Hello, uh, please. Uh, Hello, you, Ikta, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Shamsuddin Talukdar. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes. It, it has, yeah, it was so really wonderful to be a, yes. Yeah, it was really wonderful to be a part of this noble meeting. It's really noble. I call it noble oh because God. it gave students an opportunity to come up and get new ideas and be exposed to wonderful mentors like you. It's a blessing for me also <laughs> to learn so much from you. It's too much. I'm not such the kind of man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in our country, in our country, we say that uh, the jeweler, the jeweler knows more about the gem. The gem does not know its value. So we know you more. So we realize the wisdom. We realize the wisdom. We are the young, we are the teachers and we are your followers. We want to learn and learn and learn. And whatever we will learn, we will pass much. on Actually, to our, our generations, to our young ones. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, Ikta, ma'am, uh, this is very important. When the uh, cabbage situation will go out, then how should we behave our children? Because they are out of the syllabus for long, uh, 12 months, maybe more than that. So their psychological makeup has already been changed. Whenever they will newly enter into the school, then what will be the behavior the teacher and administrator should do work on that? This is now a very yes, important sir. issue. Yes. Maybe, thank you. And so I think that in during this time also, we need to focus on strengthening Mental the health. bond between the teacher and the student. Because Obvious. the time we spend together in school, in the premises, helps us to build a bond. Right. So we need to build a bond on this virtual platform also. And you we know, have to instill this trust in our students that yes, we are there for you. Still we are right, there. Right, right, we are right. not there with you, but still we are holding your hands to pull you out and help right. you overcome your fears because you have to face the world. The child is right. not going to stay in my lap, Excellent. in their mother's lap. The child has Excellent. to be prepared to face the society. And we know how tough times they are going to face. Right. The yeah. life is getting tough, tougher, toughest. And one more thing from uh, being a science person, I think uh, you will strongly agree that Darwin's theory of survival of fittest is gone. It's all right, gone. Right. Now, it's like that you have to prove your fitness every day. You have right. to prove that you are the fittest one. Then only you can survive. So this is what I Obviously. try to instill in my children also. This, that you have to keep on working hard. It does not mean that competition should overcome your regular habits. The competition has to be a healthy learning system. It has not to be cutthroat thing. It has to be a healthy system of learning where each of us can learn from each of us. It has Obvious to be a two student, days process. A symbiosis. Student will learn a lot of things. A symbiosis. Student learn a lot. Student learn a lot from our children. Undoubtedly true. Very true. And you know, uh, Arya, uh, Arya just uh, uh, innovates something new. She told we have to keep our script book and we have to put the uh, picture of foods from several countries. So we will know how the food habit is changing from one reason to another reason. That, that, that's the creativity. That's the key for survival. Yes. And in this way, if we just, you know, uh, in, in India, Pakistan, and even in European country, uh, teachers are talking with their, themselves for many issues, but they are not involving children. This is not true. This is not fair. We have to give at least 40% time with our children. Maybe 60% for our own development. 
Uh, thank you, uh, Ita, ma'am, for your kind thank presence you, here, for appreciation uh, this program. I'm humbled. And without you and your children, this program is valueless. <laughs> okay. Thank so, you. Uh, I'm just uh, going to uh, Mamotaz, ma'am. Uh, 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 I'm very happy that we have learned about our own culture and customs from our students. Many thanks to the teacher and parents for preparing them properly. The purpose of this program is to involve the students in a program in Mumbai on 22nd February 2021. I will discuss this with them again in a very short time if anyone is willing. But I'm grateful to all for supporting me if our student like it, I will continue this kind of program with you, our student, parent, and prominent educator and educators, educators, more different topics. The next program will be on behalf of our Bangladesh chapter on use of vocabulary and use it. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, and does anyone else wants to share? Any... Please count me in. Please count me in for such programs, ma'am. Yes, yes, you can. Uh, I have submitted Google Form uh, on time and uh, just fill in. And sure. always uh, you will support me. Uh, uh, Shamsuddin sir, um, uh, I think that Shamsuddin sir always our, um, according our guardian, I <laughs> just uh, our Education, education family's guardian. So she always supported me, and I really grateful sir. And Nasiruddin sir, Palash Mujinda sir, Ekutamen, and our our beautiful learners. And does anyone else wants to share something? Just one minute, many times. Len, would you say something? Then this meeting was really nice and really good. Really good. Thank you very much. Pulen, just your feedback. One second. This was a awesome session. Uh, it's my third time to join a session with Mamad al Roxana, ma'am, and Chef Hidden, sir. And uh, being uh, a part of this session is very, very awesome. Arya? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I enjoyed a lot and I want to participate in some more sessions like this. I hope that you are all of still with in future. <laughs> ma'am, I say something. Yes. The session was very learning and we all enjoy that. Very good. Rishima. Thank you, ma'am. Rishima Sinha. Just one second, the time is too short. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Shima, please tell how did you feel? How was your experience?